Members of communities in Benue State, Nigeria have protested over incessant killings in the state. The protesters mostly youth from Agatu, Umajidai, Opa gathered during the week at Opo local government area headquarters to express their grievances. The protesters said they were prevented from further protests by men of the Nigerian army. According to the protesters, the people of Opa, Agatu, Umajidai youth decided to stage mass action against the daily massacre of their people by headsmen but the military barricade the Otopo Wito local federal road. The protesters said the same security operatives were nowhere to be found when the killer herdsmen unleashed mayhem on Atapa, Ekobi, Ediku, Ijeho, Ogbobi, Umajidai communities in Agatu, Opa and Otokpo local government area in Benue State, killings estimated more than 100 people, including the traditional ruler of Ogbobi community and a son to the incumbent chairman of Otokpo Loksu government area, destructions of farmlands and properties worth billions of naira. The protesting Benue state residents said killer herdsmen are still occupying Ekobi, Ejeho and Ediku communities. Meanwhile, in a report presented by Ed Ogabaid, the Benue state governor, Samoa Autumn during the week appealed to the grieving residents to become following Wednesday killing of 47 grieving people of Umajidai in Intakpa ward of Otokpo local government area of Benue state by herdsman Malisha. Governor Samoa Autumn called for calm just as he appealed to the people to be vigilant to ward off such attacks in future. Governor Autumn, who was represented by his deputy, Engineer Benson Abunu, lamented the unending killing of Bainway people by the Hetzman militia and the inability of security agencies to stop the armed Hetzman. The governor spoke separately during the week at Adoka Center, where those displaced from the attack are currently taking refuge, and also at Umejidai, the scene of the killings, where he toured the deserted community and was shown fresh graves of those killed by the headsmen. While appealing for calm and restraint, Governor Autumn said the people should be security conscious and remain ever vigilant to avoid being killed like chickens. <laughs> Our uh, people are sh our people are protesting. They are not carrying arms, but the soldiers are shooting. They are demonstrating peaceful protest, but the soldiers are shooting. Our people are law-abiding citizens. Nobody is carrying any weapon. Nobody is carrying arms. As you can see, then all oh, nobody is carrying anything to hurt anybody. But the soldiers keep shooting and keep disrupting the peaceful protest. This is a country we want to make right. Our people deserve better, we deserve peace in our land. We want peace, we are not asking for too much. They should send securities to us. This is all we are asking for, we want more securities. Our people are being killed on a daily basis. Our women are being raped to death. Our children are killed, our men, our women. They are being displaced from their, from their ancestral homes. We want them back to their houses. We want them back to their homes. We want peace in our land, that is what we are asking for. We are not asking for too much things. Chairman of Otokpo Local Government Council and an indigenous of Umajidai, Right Honorable Boko H., whose biological son, brother-in-law, and nephew were killed by the headsmen, told Governor Autumn that the Wednesday killings took place after they had buried three of their people, who were killed a day earlier by the terrorist headsmen. He disclosed that they had no problems with the headsmen and wondered why they decided to attack his people in such a gruesome manner. He thanked Governor Autumn and the Deputy Governor, Engineer Abunu, for responding immediately to their distress calls. He, however, called on the security agencies to increase their presence in the area to check the menace of the headsmen. One of the high points of the visit to Umejidai was the discovery of a 45-year housewife, in Inuja, who was believed to have been killed with others, having not been seen for four days. The highly emaciated Inuja was found unconscious in one of the deserted rooms, frozen by fear, and unable to walk. She was brought out and resuscitated to the delight of the deputy governor, her relations, and the people around. The deputy governor was accompanied on the visit by Colonel Paul Hemba, a retired special advisor to the governor on security, Lieutenant Colonel Obishir, who represented the brigade commander, 401 Special Forces Brigade, Makodi. Also, there were the Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor, Honorable Oda Ebo Ikom, and the member, Adoka Slash Ogboju State Constituency, Benway State House of Assembly, Honorable Michael Odu.